This is part one of Security Topology Explorer series. In this video, I will talk about how to set up your design for topology extraction and SI analysis in Security Aurora 17.4. We will go through with the workflow to incorporate, stack up, identify supply nets, set up component classes and more. So let's get started. This is step one. And here we will run Security Aurora 17.4 license from Cadence program and open board file from which you want to extract topology for analysis. To do that, you have to open PCB editor 17.4 first. And from here, you have to select either Security Aurora license or Security Aurora 2 and click on OK. After opening the tool, in the next step, we have to open the board file. To do that, go to File, Open and select the board file from where you wanted to extract the topology and click on open. In your case, you can download this file from the link given in the description. After opening your board file, we will open design setup workflow in workflow manager. To open workflow manager, you have to go to analyze and select workflow manager from there. Then make sure you have selected design setup workflow from this drop down menu. This will guide you to step by step process to set up your design for topology extraction. In the next step, we will edit layout cross section. To do that, click on design cross section link in the design setup workflow. All right, the board we are working on is a Stratix 2 FPGA controller, which has 18 layers. And here I just wanted to change some dielectric thickness. In your case, you have to enter your board stack up here, which should be provided or approved by manufacturer. So I'm going to do all the changes quickly. After adding or editing all the information, click on apply and then OK. After defining cross section, in the next step, we need to add voltages to the supply net. For that, click on the identify DC net from design setup workflow. Here you have to select V0.9 volt entry and add 0.9 volt voltage here. After adding that, you have to click on apply. And if you scroll down, you can see the voltage entry is changed to 0.9 volt. After that, click on OK. Similarly, you can add voltages to different nets in your case. For this example, we need 0.9 volt only, which we are using to pull up data lines. Next step is setting component classes. There are three component classes, discrete, connector or IO and IC. In this step, we need to assign correct class to different components, which we can verify on bill of material report. To generate bill of material report, you have to go to the tools and click on reports. From here, you can select bill of material report by double clicking on it. And then click on generate reports button. Once the report will be ready, here we need to verify all the components should have correct component class. In our case, Let's verify few components. As you can see, this is a resistor pack of 56 ohm 5% tolerance, which has wrong component class assigned. It should be discrete. Now we have to change this for all the RN designators. Now to assign the correct component class, first we need to close this and click over setup components. Now here you have to add all the designators that you have assigned to different component symbols. So we are going to add one designator for IO or connector model and one for discrete. After adding those reference designators, click on apply, just close this report and OK. Now again, you can generate bill of material report to verify that. And as you can see, its component class is changed from IC to discrete. After setting up all the component classes and after verifying those on bill of material report, you can just save this project. To save it, you have to go to file and click on save button or use control S shortcut keys. So that's it for part one. In the next part, we will extract topology to topology explorer 17.4 and assign models to FPGA controller. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.emaeda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel.